basically, I want to. I want you to want me to feel it. I need you. <laughs> I'm gonna move again. I'm just gonna move one more spot. Cthulhu. What's up, everybody? My name is Nick. I'm Mike. We are the Brothers Murph. Today on the Game House, we are playing <gasps> Horror, Horror on the Orient, Orient Express, Express, the board game. By right. Call of Cthulhu and Chaosium, who are sponsoring this play. Thank you so much for that. Go down and follow the link down to the campaign for Horror on the Orient Express. Absolutely. It's active right now, or shortly will be, so do follow that Indeed. campaign. Indeed. So we're in, on a train in Dreamland. Yeah, we're going through a dreamscape. There's monsters and it's vampires, and, and people are losing their sanity. Typical Cthulhu yeah, stuff. you know how it goes. And we are just trying trying to get everyone to the end of the train track and back into Not reality. Not lose too many people. Without losing too many people and also figuring out uh, who the cultists on the train are because there's definitely some that are at least one not or two. your friends yeah. on the train as well. So we have a lot to do. There's a lot of ways we can lose. <laughs> kind of one way we can win. So we will get into a brief overview because there's a lot going on in this game and then hop into our two-player play of Horror on the Orient Express. In Horror on the Orient Express, players find themselves on a train as it travels through a dream world filled with nightmares. The train is full of passengers, some of whom are happy, calm, angry, and insane, and there are six suspects, some of which are cultists. Your job is to get to the end of the train line safely and correctly identify all cultists in order to win. Unfortunately, there are portals spawning horrifying monsters who are attacking the train along with a mortal vampire who hopes to prey on passengers as well. Players will be taking on the roles of investigators as they move through the train making use of their actions. Players may select a main action from their board and can perform up to two basic actions on a turn as well. Main actions will be tailored to that character and may allow you to fight monsters, converse with passengers, improve their moods, deal with the open portals, and more. A large part of the game hinges on discovering which suspects may or may not be a cultist. Each suspect has several face-down tiles that relate to their desires, their features, and their destination along the train route. By talking to passengers on the train, you can discover more about these suspects. When doing a talk action, you will first draw conversation tokens from a bag equal to the strength of your talk action. Any full conversation tokens are kept, and any split tokens are returned to the bag. You may now draw out as many tokens as you like, one at a time. You hope to make matching pairs of full tokens in order to reveal the matching information on any suspect you like. If you pull two split tokens showing the same penalty, however, the talk is a failure and you incur the penalty which will often change the mood of the passenger you spoke with. If you stop before busting, you get to reveal tiles from suspects for each matching pair you made. Each suspect has a different makeup of tiles and some belong in first class while others belong in second class. Players will choose which tiles to reveal which may give story elements that players can explore by interacting with that suspect. Players are looking for three things when searching for a cult. First, if any suspect has a bloody fez on them, they are a cultist. If a suspect desires an artifact and their train tickets for Constantinople, they are a cultist unless they also have an elder sign as one of their features. Finally, if any suspect has four more tokens with a violet background, they are a cultist. When you first reveal a desire of a suspect, you will tuck a matching card under their board. If you succeed in getting them what they desire, you will instantly reveal all tokens of theirs and resolve the card. This card can be highly beneficial for players unless it turns out that character was a cultist. You don't want to help cultists. Players Players need to correctly identify all cultists in order to win the game, but you also have to survive to the end of the game. That's where all the monsters come in. At the end of each player turn, you'll draw an event token from the bag. Some tokens have instant effects, while others go onto the turn and board. When three of the four rows on this board have at least one token, you resolve the board from top to bottom. This may allow monsters to attack, portals to activate, the vampire may hunt, passengers on the train may have their moods greatly impaired, and more. If passengers ever die for any reason, a coffin is placed over them, and if too many passengers die, all players lose. As players move the train down the line, they will reveal more of the landscape around them. This will often cause more portals to appear, which will have text effects and spots that summon monsters. Essence is placed on each portal, and then additional essence is placed for each insane passenger on the train. If your pool of essence tiles ever runs dry, all players lose. The cultists on the train are secretly doing a ritual as well, so make sure you watch out for that. Players can use their actions, however, to move passengers around in the train and even fight the monsters by pushing them back on the train, hopefully to the point where they fly off the back end where they have to wait to be summoned once again. Other monsters may be banished to Limbo, where they are temporarily disposed of, only to return later. When players have run low on stamina, they may wish to rest. This allows players to resource stamina as well as upgrade and learn new skills to use as actions on future turns. Players will go around protecting their sanity, trying to keep passengers alive as they root out cultists. If ever too many passengers die, the essence pool runs out, all monsters are placed on the board, or if the train ever stops, all players lose. If players reach the end of the train line safely and can correctly identify all cultists, all players win. Here's the thing, Nick. Katutu on this train. Listen. Katutu on this train. Cultists are afoot. There could be some amount of them. A bunch of them. We could be cultists. That's not possible. That's not possible. We know who we are. 
expansion. <laughs> We're here to yeah. <laughs> I was a cultist the whole time. Yeah, could you could you have a game that is a like a hidden trader, but you're the trader and you don't know that you're the trader? Probably. All right, TM. No one can design that game until we do. Well, there's All that right. one game where you're trying to figure out which one to use the robot. But it's only yeah. a two player game. So people have done weird stuff on like that true. game. So. All right, we could do it. Uh, yeah, we are trying to basically get this train safely through this dreamscape we are in. We have kind of like dipped into this other reality. Stuff is crazy. Monsters are pushing We're in through portals. Arizona. Yeah, uh, but Dreamscape Arizona. You know. So it's uh, yeah, it's basically Tempe. The worst thing you can imagine. Uh, yeah, in Tempe, basically. Arizona. So. <laughs> Um, shouts out to Tempe. Shouts out to Tempe. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we're here to do this thing, man. We have, uh, I'm a cheerful retired gunslinger. Yeah. The cheerful, your little attribute gave us a little thing. I'm basically added a, a wild conversation token yeah. to help us maybe be a little bit better at talking we're to passengers. Like which is very charming, you know? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm a gifted chemistry professor. Nice. Uh, Katharina Kristoff, and I am gifted basically means that I got an extra one of these general skills to yep. start with. You usually start with one, which is why I have one more than Mikey, as you can see. You see it's because I started with an extra one, which seemed uh, great. Yeah. Uh, we each yeah, have some general skills, a little lucid dream thing. Yes. So we are uh, basically ready to begin. There's lots of ways to lose. Yeah. One way to win. You got to get this train to the end of the track and find these cultists. <gasps> We do have two uh, desires. Uh, that person right there desires for an artifact, mm -hmm. which is a possible cultist thing to do. Yes, it is. And, and it's All one right. of those things we, if these people are cultists and the chef here desires to be in the locomotive up here, and it's one of those things where it's like, if we do do their desire and they turn out to be a cultist, that's going to be bad for us. Because yeah. <laughs> so, when you complete like this, essentially that's a little quest, uh, you know, if you want to call it that. Uh, when you complete that, you will reveal who they are. Yes. So we will learn their identity for... Which is also a good way to know who's who, yeah, to a degree, yeah, right? Yeah, so, just don't want to get punished a ton. <laughs> and we got this crazy passenger. Well, some of them are crazy. Yeah, some, some are, are happy, some are calm, angry, just bat crap, uh, panicked, you know? All yeah, sorts of things know, going on. Bat crap. And right. a vampire to boot. Why yeah, not? There's a lot of stuff going on. <sighs> it's fine. We got to stop. Take this way, Mikey. Okay. Yeah. So... Uh, yes, I will. So you'll do two basic actions, one main action. Again, these are our Correct. main actions. Our basic actions are here on our little thingy. Correct. Uh, okay, so I'm in the uh, salon here, getting my herded. Uh, and we do have one of our suspects, all of these square-based folks, as a reminder. Yes. Uh, this is our, I think, person looking at our little crystal ball here. Yes. So I have my general skill that I got to start, that I drafted, is reveal a chosen feature mm. of a suspect in your car. So I'm going to start with that. Let's just get a little sure. bit more information. Uh, let's just go with that top so right feature. Here? Yeah. Let's see what that's about. Ooh, um, an ornate tin of snuff. Okay, an ornate oh, well, tin yeah. of snuff is... Uh, Something we can basically ask after, yeah. If we want, I could use a basic, uh, basic action to interact with that. I could do that. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna use a stamina to basically like, pretty sweet snuff tin you got there. What's uh, what's uh, what's going on there? So I can reveal that ornate tin of snuff, uh, and this allows me to gain a random grimoire. They said, mm, okay. oh, the tobacco is a prop. It's glued on, and the tin is a disguised book. Uh, in an unusual book. circular binding. Interesting. So I get a random grimoire. Okay. And then this will flip upside down to basically show that we've already investigated that tin of snuff. And so we can't then, what's that tin of snuff? She's like, it's the exact same. Yeah, exact I, I did a little sneaky look. So I got uh, Liber Ivanis uh, grimoire. This makes you lose a sanity and you can move a chosen suspect to your car, whatever car you're in. Uh, and use their skill without spending a favor. So that's their little mm. abilities on that stuff. But you do have to lose the sanity to do that. That is in our kind of shared pool now that yeah. either of us can use. Um, and I think I'm just going to stay here. I'm not going to do a second basic action just yet. Okay. Okay. So we are going to pull from the old yawn the end. Yeah. Turn back. <laughs> Bam. Okay. So All this right. is so going to go gonna be... out on to the... The board to That's be... That's going to be all of these text rituals here, as long as they have essence on them. So if we get these off, which would be pretty yeah, tough before that kind of deactivates them, yeah. Um, that is going to activate. Right, um, okay, so what do I want to do here? So we got some monsters. It'd be good to get them out. And it's kind of one of those things where, like, the monsters are kind of really dangerous if the windows are open, but the... Vampires really dangerous if the windows are closed. Yeah. Do me one favor. The last thing we do on our tra yeah. a turn is to move the train forwards. Basically, we're there. Yeah, there is that kind of push and pull with the curtains of like the vampire. It's kind of that like what you can't see is scarier than what you can. Yeah, exactly. And they're right here, by the way, hanging out, literally hanging on. Literally the, hanging <laughs> off the thing. Just knocking. Deesh. Deesh, deesh, deesh. Hi. 
Hi. Hi. Let me in the train, please. So that I might um, pray upon, I mean, become friends with you. Oh, interesting. So I could, let's do this one. I'm going to go, where Where am I starting? I, oh, I'm here. Yep. Okay. It's like a glass sleeping so, car. I'm going to do this. I am going to do a basic action, move up to two. So I'm going to move over to this car right here. Sure. And then um, I am going to do my uh, firearms. All right, make sure you spend your stamina, by the way, for that basic action. Thank you. I'm going to do my firearms. This is one of the actions that I got at the beginning of the game. So in a car with an open window, which mine is an open window, I can banish all the monsters from a chosen car that is behind our car. So I basically lean out and go like, boosh, like that. <laughs> so I'm going to lean out this here window, boop, and I'm going to pop. Greeny boy here. All right, so you're getting banished to the limbo. Right here, which basically means they'll come back on the board at the end of the round, but they won't attack. They're basically out for this Yeah, they're round. out until we resolve this board. So that's, you yes. know, one less thing to worry about. Yeah. Okay, and then I could do one more um, action. And, um... You know, the basic if you want. I don't want to close the windows here. I think I'm just going to move... You know, I'm just going to... I'm not going to do anything, actually. I'm just going to stay here. Okay. Because I want to do another um, main action. So, yeah, I'll just stop here. There you go, draw a token from the bag. Boom. Okay, that's gonna be our ritual over here, our crazy train yeah. ritual. Okay, so it'll be happening soon. We'll move the train forward one spot. Uh, okay, so it's back to me. Let's see. Speaking of talking to people, I could maybe do my salon gambit here and have a little chat with, uh, with our crystal ball wearing friend. Okay. Sorry, sorry, I'm sorry. You talk a, to a passenger about a suspect. That's so yes. let's, uh, and what we get to reveal is going to uh, dictate some stuff. So I'm going to talk to this uh, happy person. Yeah, they're very happy. Right there. That happy passenger. So I have talk three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw three tokens from this. If I get any full successes, here, yeah. they, they stay with me. Any of the split kind of uh, tokens will go back in the bag. And then you start drawing one by one and, and yeah. kind of... Risk, you know, bad stuff happening. So three tokens to start. I have two successes. Sorry, that's beautiful. So I have a second class and something that reveals a desire. So again, you want matching sets of these. Yes. So there's three, I think, of each of the types of things. Um, and then this goes back. back and now it's just push your luck. Again, you don't want... You don't want two of the, the, the matching, matching penalties. Stuff. Yeah. All right, so that's a penalty one. So nothing there. Oh, another penalty one. So the more you have come you out. the matching bottom, though, there. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. desire. So now I have a matching thing. Do I keep it going? I don't know. One more. Easy. Oh, a feature. Okay. One more. Ha! First class. Oh, oh come on. <laughs> Get one more. Come There's on. There's so many things that can match. I know. Ha! Another first class. Okay. I'm stopping there. Yes. I'm stopping there. That's a good idea. So uh, I won't have a choice of different things between these, but you do get one of the rewards shown on uh, the bottoms there. So in this case, I can get an occult token or an occult token. Um, okay, so I did make two matches here with the successes. So we can reveal any desire of a suspect, and we can reveal something about one of our first class yes. suspects. We want to um, know. Okay, here's my thinking. Right here, this person, mm -hmm. they have a desire for an artifact. If they're also going to Constantinople, it's a there's a good it's chance. It's a worry a that they are a cultist. Yeah. So I want to reveal the ticket, the destination of that this person one? there. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Ooh, they're going to Constantinople. Okay. Listen. <laughs> so now and they only have one of these. If they do not have an elder sign, because the elder signs are in this attribute thing right here. If they don't have an elder sign, this is a cultist. Whew, that's interesting. Okay. We can now reveal the desires of, of somebody. Let's let's reveal the desire of someone we haven't yet. Let's okay. just reveal her her desire. All right. She only has one. Ooh, okay. It's also for an artifact. Artifact. All right. So since she doesn't have a card yet, she will get one, which will be kind of the quest that kind we of can a, uh, a, a put them on. The, uh, Chalice. All right. So again, she desires for an artifact. <sighs> but if they're a cultist, we don't want to help them get their, their we don't, way. I do not think we, we should get this guy. We don't have an artifact guy. currently. That's in the items deck. We do have a grimoire. We do have uh, a grimoire. Yeah. I do not think we should give him an artifact because of yeah. the fact that, yeah. And then again, on your split things, you can choose exactly one of the rewards that show up on here. And so since we just have two of the same, we'll get one of these. 
the cult tokens and put it over there. Cool. All right. All right, what else are you doing? Is that all your stuff? or? Um, I did succeed, so a passenger is basically going to go... Uh, the passenger that I talked to, this happy one, is going to go to calm. They're a little okay. less happy now, but they're not mad. That's fair. We're grilling. They're bored, if anything. Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to spend a stamina to move. I'm just going to move to this car, and I'm going to spend another stamina to open the curtains. Okay. Okay. I want... Draw, draw me from oh, the yeah, sorry, yeah. real quick. So if... So almost certainly, almost certainly, the end there a little bit around. Oh, yep. Boop. Okay, so now that we have three of the four slots here full, we will resolve top to bottom. Yes, uh, indeed. Going all the way down. So, first is going to be any portals with uh, open that are open currently have essence on there that have text effects. So, what's that one going to do? Yeah. So this one is going to be um, uh, we're going to change one calm person to panicked. Okay. Mm. Um, and then if there are at least three panicked people on the Orient Express. One panic person becomes insane. Ooh. So we are going to have three we panicked are? people. Yeah. Yep. I'd say we put this calm person panicked. Sure. And who do we turn insane? I don't know. Well, is there anyone that can undo insanity? I can't. I have a stuff that I, I can undo panic. I don't currently have the ability to help people. with that. No, I don't. Okay. So you went from calm to real upset. Real upset. Yeah, though. real upset. Real upset. <laughs> Okay, so that's that. Okay. Bummer. And again, if there were more of these, we will be getting some of these revealed. Actually, after Mike's turn, we're here, we'll reveal one because then the train will be at that oh, point. Oh, boy. So now we're going to do the ritual, which is going to be this part of it up here. So all it is is that we're going to place one of these, boop, there. Yep. And then later, if we get this hand symbol, then we'll do the bottom part, which is Seven mostly going to deal with those and be very bad. Working on the ritual. Okay, so we have the passengers are, are acting. Boom. Bleeding out. In each car with no happy people... Uh, one wounded person dies, and in each car, all panicked people move up. So, are there, we don't have any, um, no, because we have a happy person here. That's the only wounded person we have. So, actually, nobody dies. That's very okay, good. that's good, but we do have a bunch of And then of in movement. each car, all panicked people move forward. Okay, so. So, it's actually just these two. So, you're going right. to blop forward. Yeah. You're going to blop forward. So that's running toward it. the front of the train. They're like, gotta stop the train. <laughs> all right, now this is empty, but we still do carry it out. So it's going to be all blue monsters attack, and then the foremost red monster will attack. We do have one blue here, one red here, and then green is going to spawn after that. So the blue monster, you kind of pull up their little thing here. If they are uh, by a car with people in it, which they are, all uh, players are going to lose the sanity. So that's a bummer. Uh, one of the people is going to turn insane. So, um, gosh, our panic person, maybe? I guess. Yeah, yeah. I guess. It's, it's all bad, honestly. Then all insane folks are running forward. Uh, oof. Oh, man, okay. So that's not good. Okay, now our red... We got a lot of insane people in the locomotive of the car. Yeah. <laughs> Driving the train, baby. Okay. Uh, okay, so uh, red right here is it in front of a car with people in it. So all players are going to lose the stamina. Okay. Yikes. Uh, a happy person is going to get wounded. Man. And that's going to be it. Because if there wasn't any happy people, basically one person would die. So thankfully, not that. Got to keep the people happy. Okay. And then we're going to spawn uh, one green. One green, which is going to be from this portal back here. Yep. So we'll be on the back of the... Uh, the Back of the train lead. there. Oof. Yep. Then finally, anyone in limbo comes back to the very ba last so car. Green. Kaboom. Yeah. Oof. That was harsh. Right. So I did wipe the board completely. So we might have a few turns before the board uh, carries forward, but we will uh, move the train forward. Do, 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 do. And now we are in this area. Boom, boom. Okay, so we have hypertension. So okay. we have another text portal and then a red spawn point. So how do we put it here? It's so you put one uh, on each one, and then we get additional essence equal to the amount of insane people on the train, Oof. which I think is four. And we have to do it equally? As evenly as wow. you possibly can. That's so that's bad. two more. That's pretty bad. That's really bad. You oh, don't man. want folks yeah. who are a little less insane. Last time we were playing this, we we were able, we didn't have that many insane people, so it's yeah. it's we weren't getting a ton of essence, but this is uh, not great. Okay. Cascaded quickly. Oh, yeah. Wow, okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. So, back to me, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out what's the best to do here. Is there a spot with a lot of... 
not really a lot of panicked or angry people. Because basically in a spot with closed doors, I can turn panicked and angry people into calm. And mm. I can turn all of them into calm, which is great. But there's not like a big concentration of them. Sure. Um, hmm. Uh, sorry, I'm just looking at the left most active. Banish? Hmm. Let's do this. We're going to go ahead and... Oh, man, we, should probably, we need to find these cultists, too. So, yeah. you know what? I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk. Okay. I'm going to move first. I'm not, I'm not with any happier calm people to talk to. <laughs> so I'm going to use the stamina. I'm going to talk first. Um, and I can move to... Let's swing over here. Sure. I'm going to talk to this calm person. Um... Okay, cool. So I can so talk your, three. Talk so, three, all right. So and I'm gonna go. Boops, all right. I'll gr draw three, yeah. and then that'll be the your starting point. Ooh, uh, ooh, all three ooh. successes. That's what huge. I really want is I want two of these because I want to find out if this dude is yeah. a cultist or not. Okay, so now we're now we're pushing our luck. Boom. Ooh, a ooh, desire. You got a desire. Keep it going. Keep it going. All okay. Right. Gotta go again, right? Absolutely. There it is. Oh, gosh. Oh, Come no. on, man. Really? All right, I failed. All right. Oh, no. So that means the person you were talking to, they're like, I'm going to go to the next car. <laughs> they're going to move. Uh, that is such a bummer. Such a good pull to start with. Man. Wow. Okay. So I freaked them out a little bit, and they moved. That's a bummer. Okay, and then after this is I can move myself with any number of calm or happy people to an adjacent car. Do I want to do that? Hmm. Is there any benefit? You know what I'm gonna do is, yeah, I'm gonna move back over here with this happy person because there's just a lot of things where it's like, if there's no happy people in this car, yeah. da 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 And so let's get a happy person in here. I think that's smart. Just so, just so, okay, and I have one more, um, one more thing. Who am I with? I'm with you. We could remove. Ooh. Wait, no. No, I'm sorry. I'm with her. Um, ooh, we could move her to a different car and reveal a clue of a chosen person there. Oh. Should we like kick her over with like this dude? Absolutely. All right. Go ahead. Go talk to this guy. Boom. And then reveal a clue of a chosen person there. So I'm using their favor. It's a cultist! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. So again, to confirm, yes. one of the ways you can identify a cultist yes. is they're going to Constantinople, they desire for an artifact, and they do not have an elder sign. Yes. Don't which, again, on here, the elder signs are th things that will appear under the features yep. uh, tablet. So we know. Uh, so let's go ahead and put this down right here. Cultist for <laughs> sure. Ah! Um, That's... And you can just straight boot them off the plane. Once you confirm they're a cult oh, the train, you could, yeah, you could, you could get out of get there. Get rid of them. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Well, that was. Oh my gosh. Okay. And then we used her favor. Boom. Yeah. So we got to make it nice for her if she wants to help us again. Okay. So we should not complete their quest of giving them an artifact no, under any not. circumstances. Don't give a cult. All right. So we have the, the ritual hands. So that would be us doing this one. So let's just read what says really. Well, this is happening right now since so it's the green. So this is an immediate effect. Oh, so. shoot. Okay. So yep. resolve the, the visible incantation, which is going to be this card right here. Uh, the player may spend any number of those cultist, uh, cult signs. You have one. For each one we spend, reduce the ritual power by, for the incantation by one. So let's see what it is. So we have a nocturnal crescendo. Okay. For each ritual power point, discard the one leftmost vampire strength tile, and then we'll turn one panicked person to insane. So there is one. I don't want to just make the vampire stronger straight away. Oh, I'm so... sorry, real quick. That's actually not true. The ritual power is equal to the number of tokens here Ugh. plus the number of sane people in the Orient Express. So it's actually five. Oh, my God. Goodness. So well, we have to use this to reduce it by one. Yeah, we got to get, get these people fixed up. Four. We've got. But how? We, I don't know how we do that. Okay, so we have to remove four vampire tiles, which is bad because they get Womp. a lot stronger. Womp. Womp. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, let's hope we never That's pull a vampire more, token. That's a lot more death. That's a lot more death. It's a lot more death. Okay. 
And then, uh, and then someone goes, goes and someone goes bananas. Uh, oh, yeah, and then one panic person goes even even crazier. Oh man, <sighs> we only have one panic person on board, so we have no choice. Yeah, but it's gonna be you, friend. Sorry, friend. Wow, this is going very poorly. <laughs> and then I'm guessing this car goes away. Uh, I believe so. Okay. Wow, that was bad. Okay. All right, Brutal. so this next thing is we're going to be after spawning monsters into limbo. Okay. Oof. That well, was at least bad. it leaves the board clear still, so there's that. Okay. So go ahead and move the train. <laughs> it's still moving. <sighs> so if this speed is higher, our train moves more? We get more of these tokens in the bag, yeah. So it's more likely right. that the train is moving quicker, and also it does affect when we're pushing people how far they yeah. go away. So yeah, it does help. But also, if you don't know where all the cultists are, you don't necessarily yeah. want the train to be moving faster. I do want to get up to speed two simply because if we get the, if the train stops, we're dead. Yes. So you know, I do want to I do want to do that. And yeah, that is and the power have, if you go up to the locomotive, you can do a basic action there. I just have I have like no ability to uh, help very very upset insane people. Yeah. Same. All right, you up, man? Alrighty, so I think we'll do some basic actions to start. Uh, remind us of our train abilities real quick, our yes. cars. So the sanctuary here is you can gather uh, one passenger, one person, or one um, suspect. Uh, this is restore three um, stamina. Stamina. You use one to gain yep. two. And this one is you can move one of your gold cubes to essentially free up a spot. That is pretty sweet. Um, all right, I'm gonna use a basic action to move. I'm gonna go two cars back. Boom. Um, let's see. Hi, friend. Sure are a lot of people on this here train. <laughs> oh, man. Um, I basically I want to... I want you to want me, Cthulhu. I need <laughs> you. I'm going to move again. I'm just going to move one more spot. Cthulhu. And then I'm going to uh, do True Grit here, and I'm going to make this person calm. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to send them to an adjacent car. Okay. Um, just so there's no people in here, because the vampire is currently here. So oh, that's actually a few passengers a, away from a the vampire. A very good point. Because they're, uh, <laughs> they're getting stronger. Yeah, that's so a good yeah. point. We really need to keep them away from any passengers. All right. Ideally. Ideally. What do we got? Boom! Ooh, train, right, train moves. moves forward, and then we just move right. Well, does that happen right away? Oh, yeah, because it's blue or green. Yep. Yep. So go, and, and then, then we draw again. That's right. All right, it's gonna be another passenger thingy. Again, so this goes to wherever the pips are. Oh, that's right. Okay. All right, so train moves forward one spot. That is the end of the turn. So we are moving on. What you got? So. What I could do is I could do, oh no, I could, oh, I could move over. Hmm. So, so I have my radioactive uh, panacium here. Yeah. So in a train with no passengers, I can remove all essence from a chosen monster portal on the current landscape. So at the very, very least, it would get rid of these three. That would be great. It's less stuff at right? spawning. So, okay, so I'm gonna use a stamina. I'm getting low on stamina, but I'm gonna have to pop here because it's the only spot with no um, yep. passengers. Then I'll use this ability here. So, no passengers, move all from a chosen one. Boom, we'll get these out of here. Nice. So, at the very, very least, massive. Red won't spawn there. It can yeah. still spawn here, but it won't spawn two then, which is great. Yeah. And then I have one more. Um, We could use her ability to move any two passengers are chosen. No, I'm trying to think. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna move back here. I'm gonna use another stamina and move back here because cool. I do have an ability to heal at least one wounded or or panicked person to calm, and so maybe I'll do that next turn. We'll see. Cool. Okay, okay. Doing this, we are down to two tokens in here, so we will All have right. to. Boom, train. train moves forward. Got another, so it's gonna empty the bag. Ooh, the Weempire. Two pips. Boom. All right, bag is empty, so all those discards. Cool. 
Darn, All right. that's bad timing. All right, so then at the end of the turn, you'll reveal. Uh, we're going to move into a new landscape. All right, so we have void fields. So, and this was in each car with an open window, gather happy people from an adjacent car. Uh, so they'll move over to that car and then they'll all become calm. Interesting. They're okay. staring at the void. They're not really getting like upset. They're just kind of like, wow, what's that? Hmm. I'm, less, I'm a little less happy. All right, so one on each and we still have, I think, four. Four, yeah. Oh, we, we have, have five. five. Oh, so man. So we need three. So three on one, two on the other. Well, let's do, no, let's do three on this one. Okay. Just because like I have the potential to like get all those just off. Okay. Well, like I just did with this ability. So cool. let's just make this one slightly worse because. Sweet. I could potentially get off. You know. All right, what you doing, Maggie? Hmm. Well, you're getting low on stamina too there, huh? Yeah, we only got the one. So I'm trying to think of like, should I rest now or do I do one more action? Right. <sighs> I mean, I'm gonna we'll do reveal a, a, another upgrade thingy. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like almost kind of, I'm the same boat where I'm like, I kind of want to reveal another one. Yeah, so I'm gonna do a basic action. I'm gonna move back here to the dining car. And then I'm gonna do posse. So in a car with open windows, which I do have here, choose up to two cars with uh, angry or happy passengers in each of these cars. I can do a push zero to a monster. Mm. Uh, and someone that's either happy or mad gets wounded. So I'm gonna just push from here, this one. Yeah. This person is gonna get wounded as a result. Amen. But it's gonna push one of these monsters off the back of the train, which means they are gone. Yeah. I mean, they'll come back eventually, but. Yeah, so you're pushing at the speed of the train. So as we're moving faster, it's easier to push people off. Yeah. For, which so the is, push zero is is basically there's no extra stuff, but the speed of the train will mean they go that many cars backward and if they either go off the back end. Yeah. That's good. Um, gosh, I wish I had one more to, to be able to shut the curtains, but I don't have any more stamina, so that's going to be it for me, and I will definitely have to rest next turn, I think. Yeah, I might do something kind of similar-ish here, just to kind of get some Monstars out of here. I think that's good. Let's go ahead and pull Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. In. Oh, it might, be, might, be, might not matter, because we might not have a holding right now. Let's see. Ah! Ooh, oh, double. No, stacks. so we actually don't, yeah, so. So we don't have until three of these are full, so that, okay. that means... Uh, all right, We're so good. I'm going to use this, and I'm going to move back over to here, and I'm going to use this field experiment because it's a push plus one. So I'm nice. essentially pushing two. So I'll push them one plus speed the train, boom, off the back. Nice. And then, unfortunately, we can do the other thing. It says if there's no passengers in my car, which there are none, I would banish all other monsters in my car. So it would have been a real nice double, but this is that didn't happen. That's okay. And then I'm out of stamina, so I'm, I'm done skis as well. Okay, cool. So one thing, oh, move sorry, yeah. the train one for Mark. my turn, and then go ahead and pull, and then we'll see what happens here. <gasps> oh, that does move the train instantly, and that's an instant discard and draw again, since it's a blue ring. <gasps> oh, dang it. I was like, so this is another instant, but it will uh, be the last thing we draw. So yes. We, all right. So, all right, so, all the, so we can't discount this one. And so each ritual power point, which now is going to be one plus number of insane people, which is five, so Ugh. six, spawn one monster into limbo, starting with the topmost. Oh. So we have to bring in six monsters, which is oh, going to... Oh, actually, they're all going to limbo. Math. Yeah, so it's going to be two of each. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's a good point, yeah. <laughs> wow, so we've got to get <laughs> real monster heavy. <laughs> One of the ways we can lose is if all those monsters are, are out in the field, essentially. We, wow. Uh, okay. Well, well, I guess we're still not doing all those, so it's still oof. back to you, man. Okay, move the train forward. <laughs> yeah, we definitely got to figure out some stuff. So I'm going to rest. So I'm going to yeah. use my silver here. Boom. Uh, so I have two of these little Chevron little things, so I can basically do two upgrades, learn two new skills, do my lucid skill. Uh, things like that. So let's see. So I did True Grit, Posse, and Spot Hid. Well, Spot Hid's in general. And so these, or sorry, Salon Gambit is also something I could upgrade. This gives me a talk four. Ooh. Um, so I kind of think I want to do that because it makes whoever I talk to makes them happy. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to upgrade this to an upgraded version of the action. Okay. That's one of mine. Um,. Yeah. It's tough, man. True Grit. I think I'm going to do True Grit as well since I did activate that because this will mean I can basically help more people get back to calm, which will be 
yeah, useful since we're we're not in a great way. No, um, we're not. <laughs> we're not. So it's going to be my two things. I get to restore five stamina, and then all of my cubes come back. Okay. All right, so that's going to be... You still do basic actions. Yeah, my main stuff. Um, I don't know if there's anything... I mean, I guess I can get moving... Are you with, oh boy? You well, could do his to at least change one insane person to calm. I will do that. I will, yeah, I'm gonna do a couple things. I'm gonna do one basic action and close the curtains here because the green monster mm. is worse at the, yes. <laughs> they'll just snatch a body out That's of the window. Fair. they're creepy looking. And then I'll do another basic one to interact with a suspect. I am back here with Jean, so I'll use their. So they will, you have to move Jean to a car and then mm. change a person there to calm. Let's go, let's just go here. Okay and they'll make this person calm. And they'll flip over their favor. Well, it's one less. Yeah, you know, we need to start talking again, yeah. I only have one talk ability, so I, I, we can't do it a time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. okay, so that's gonna be that. Oh, uh, we man. will draw from the bag. Please, please don't activate it, because I have an ability that can put, well, here's the thing, there's no chance we get it. I have an ability here, Paradigm Shift, where I could remove all monsters from Limbo. <sighs> now, I have to rest, put it in here, then yeah, be able to activate it, so almost, not impossible. almost assuredly not gonna happen, but not it impossible. could not happen. Easy game, okay. Now, okay, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we do have three of the areas with tokens. Yeah. So this first one is gonna be green monsters attack, and then the foremost uh, blue, which there is none, then we'll spawn red. So yeah. this is actually only gonna be this one attack from this person here. They are at a, uh, a room with uh, people, but the curtains are closed. Mm -hmm. um, so if the curtain was open, if there's a panicked or wounded person, which there is, they would <laughs> die. Um, but that's not going to happen. So they're going to move forward, and then they're going to turn. Uh, again, if there was a happy, calm, or angry person, they would panic, but there's no people there. So that's actually a pretty Let's uh, go. <laughs> uneventful moment, which is good for us. Uh, there is no blue to spawn, and so we will spawn red, which this is not active currently because there's no mm. essence, so it'll only be one at the back of the train. Yeah, which is great. Boom. Okay, then that Wumpire, <sighs> that Wumpire gonna come out. So the Wumpire does not have anyone to attack um, here. There are no passengers. Again, you yep. would look at kind of like the most leftmost passenger that matches, and then depending on the curtains are open or closed, they will do stuff, which is mostly kill people now. Uh, but there's no one, so they will instead just move. Yeah, they'll always move whether or not they're successful. They will, in this case, move back one okay. car. Okay, so there's mm -hmm. that. Passengers, what you got? Bleeding out in each car with no happy passengers, a wounded person dies. Uh, then each car, all uh, passenger, all panic passengers move. Oh, so it's the same car forward. again. Okay. So the good thing is, is there's only one. This person dies because there's no happy people. There are two in here, but there is a happy person. Okay. So it's only one death. We do have a little coffin. coffin. <laughs> Another way we can lose is if seven people die. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of ways. So there's that. And then all panic people move forward, of which there are actually none. Okay. We've gone beyond panic. <laughs> and so. And this is, I believe, just going to be Another one of these, token. which is going to make that. Oh, it will. Sorry, I got to, forgot to get rid of that. All right. So lastly, all monsters from Limbo there are all going to join the back of the train. <laughs> Let's make a little room, a little bit of a party. Oh, you know what, though? I mean, they're, they're, you can question, kick them question, off kind of easily. Question. Well, just a, just a whole bunch of people back here. Just, uh, are dead passengers can still considered to be passengers? I don't I, believe so. I have that thing where if there's no passengers in my area, I banish all other passengers. All other, rather, all other monsters. I don't think so. If we that, can somehow no, move this person, I can yeah. go over here. I could potentially. I'm too far. I'm just banishing them back to the limbo, so they're going to come back. Well, then you might but, get your power built up. Yeah, and well, that's the thing, though, right? So I have to rest. So oh, we need to move. Um, I have to rest. So boop right here. So I have two of these chevrons. So. I also could upgrade something. This one is nice because it basically turns a bunch of people to happy. We could use that these days. Now this one is nice because it removes all um, essence from a chosen uh, a chosen one of these, a text mm. one. We haven't had to deal with that yet. No, we haven't. I also have a talk four. 
Mm. Which is great because <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that's why fact... I upgraded my my talk ability for sure. Yeah, I might do that just because it's like we need to we haven't found anything new in a while here. Um okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna do these two. So I'm gonna go boom, and then I am going to upgrade that one. Okay. And then we're gonna get all these back. Okay. And we're store five, boom. And then bring all these back. And now I have some basic actions. Yep. So I'm gonna move here for just one. And then I think I'm gonna park. What are you gonna do your next turn? By actually, actually, um, I was gonna come talk to that person. Uh, on your next turn, I think I might use this for one, lose a sanity, but you can move a chosen suspect to your car and use your skill without spending favor. I might do that for Jean again to get, mm. get another yeah. person Yeah, okay, stable. then I'll just, I'll come here then. Cool. Sure. All right. Nice. From the back, from the back. Ah! Oh, my, there's oh, two of those in there. Brutal, yeah. Oh, my, yeah, we just added a whole bunch. Okay, well, now there are six, still six, Elder Signs, because there's four, five, six Whoa. of the ritual power. So for each ritual power point, all monsters move forward. Sorry, each, all monsters move, so they're all gonna move forward six. One, two, three, four. Wow. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, so they're five. All going they're all the locomotive. the locomotive. Oh gosh, this is so <laughs> bad. Because these red folk, Maybe slow, slow down, down the train. Oh, we, I don't know if we're going to last much longer, y'all. Oh, no. That is... This ritual is killing us right and now. And then one panic person becomes insane. Luckily, we have no panic people because everyone's either broken or insane already. So, brutal, dude. Brutal. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, getting a couple people to be a, a bit... A bit insane very quickly uh, has been... It hurts. ...absolutely demolishing us. Man. Okay, well, it's your turn. <laughs> yeah, you ain't wrong about that. I mean, it's also one of the things, like, we're getting to the point now where it's like, we might, oh, I'm sorry, I need to do, Frank, the end of my turn here. Yep. All right, so this is going to be, it's all on this one. There is going to be one, two, six. And four more, six, six total. So it's going to be add one essence to each uh, portal adjacent to this portal. So it's going to be like this one, and yeah. then whatever one ends up being there. Wow. It's not the end of the world, honestly, but it's keeps, not great. Yeah, it keeps other uh, portals open. Okay. All right. Hmm. So I really want to get moving toward the front of the train. That's for dang sure. Yeah, and so also my thing is, I'm like, we obviously want to do him because we know he's a cultist, but it's also like, should we just like try to get these done? Because like, it'll just reveal them and at least like, true. we'll then we'll know, you know? True. That's very It's true. not like ideal really, but it's like, because yeah. the chef here wants to be in the locomotive. Yeah. Who's, he's already right next to us. So if there's any way to like kind of kick him over to the locomotive, it's like at least then we uh, we get it. We obviously won't do him because we know he's a cultist, but poof. Right. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Also, if you're with this guy, you can kick him off the train, which will... Um, Removing from the game, you'll reveal all their clues, which also would give us more information about like what potentially could be out here, and we get to remove one of these. Man. Which is not like probably that helpful because you have the sheer amount of uh, insane people we have, but it is something. Definitely something. Uh, I think I'm gonna spend two my two basic actions just to move four spaces forward. One, two, three, four, two per. Okay. Um, just get closer to the front of the train for maybe next turn. Sure. And then I'm going to do a uh, salon gambit here. I'm going to talk for four with uh, this person down here. They're calm and happy and calm. Um, okay. Let's so talk a... four now. Yeah. That was one of the other, man, we would be in a, a, not a hugely different spot, but man, I whiffed hard on that last one. All right. So we have 
two successes on the first pull. So one about first class passenger, one about desires. Now we begin. All right, so we've got a ticket, finding out about the ticket of someone, the destination. A feature. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh. Okay. Another desire. So we now have a match for desires. Okay. Second class. Oh, man. It's like, I want you to get one more thingy. Ha. All right, that's fine. We're keeping going. You gotta, dude. You gotta oh. keep it going. Come on, give us one, please. Another oh. second class. So we can learn something about any of those three second class uh, suspects, or we could learn, uh, and I should say, and we a can desire. learn about a desire of somebody. Do I pull one more? You can. I mean, it's like, I feel like information is good, but glory. Glory is better. Ooh. Oh, that's the third second. I didn't know Oh, this. darn it. Nice. That's good, because I got out of the way to get this one. Oh. Oh so I haven't made a match, but it's getting risky. <laughs> I don't Nick, know. I'm not pulling it yet, but do I? what's in my hand? Is it good? I don't think it is. It is not, but oh. it's okay. We have, you have to okay, stop. Have There's to stop. no way. Stop. You have to stop. Have to You're stop. so lucky you haven't drawn anything twice. But well, what would have happened if I'd pulled one more? Yeah, this is fine. This is okay. not, I'm not doing this. This is just a, a wonder. I should have pulled one more. Okay, okay. it's fine. Well, okay. We have lots of, we can. You can choose a lot of different things, stuff. yeah. Okay, so we can reveal something about a second class uh, and then passenger a and then a desire. So, I don't know, man. What are you thinking here? So we already have one thing for him, so it's like, should we try and get more, or should we just go for someone we don't know at all? I think we should go for someone we don't know, almost. Okay. We need to figure out some features, because there's a bloody fez out there we got to find out about. Yeah, because if someone has there's one bloody fez, whoever has it, they're they immediately are. a cultist. Hold this for sure. Um, I, let's figure out, let's maybe, okay, well also, like, who are we near? I'm not near, I'm near, near her. her. That's it, I'm not near anyone else. You're well, near a bunch of people. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's do the chef, actually. Let's do a feature from the chef, because we can do anything from a second-class uh, okay. passenger. He's got a parrot. He's got a talking parrot. So that's something we can ask about if we want. Okay. Um, and then we can ask about the desire. So we could... I don't know. I kind of feel like we don't need to do that about that person. We should reveal Well, at this point, we, we know, know he can't have four violet. Oh, no, he can't have four violet, but it's probably unlikely. Because one of the ways yeah. you know if they are a cult is if they have four of these violet ones. Yeah. He has two that aren't, so he could sell the bloody fez, but we, it's probably somewhat unlikely that he at least has yeah. the purple one. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Let's go ahead and reveal the desire of uh, maybe her, one of hers. Okay. Boom. Okay, what does she desire for? Five oh. passengers. Oh, to man. To eat them. <laughs> she wants to be in a place with five passengers. Um, so that'll tuck under her card there. Yeah, I mean, there's a place with six out there. Well, if we can get her over there or get the passengers to ah, her. She's right next to it, too. I mean, again, she's like, we don't know anything else about her. Yeah. <laughs> and she has three of these, so the chance of this being a bloody fez is higher than, for say, like, you know, this person here or something sure. like that. Yeah. Um, okay, so finally I can choose one of these rewards. Gosh. It's either going to be an item or a, an occult token. The occult token um, helps us with this a little bit, but does. I just think we're getting so wrecked anyway that it's like... I think like, we should go for an item, Me man. too, It's because like then it's at least we have a chance of getting something really cool. All right, this is an artifact, um, so we don't want to give it to our cultist friend there. Uh, you can revive a dead person in your car. Mm. You can roll that um, person and place them with their newly rolled status in your car. So bring them, it's a reanimating reagent. That's interesting. That is interesting. That's interesting, okay. okay. Give them a new status, too. Okay. Could be, could be good, could be bad. You don't know. When you bring someone back from dead, you don't know how it's going to go. It could so go That's a bad. fact. Uh, okay, so that was all your my stuff? talk. Let's go ahead and draw from the bag. Did you do basic actions? Yeah, because you moved. Yeah, I moved. Four. Yeah. Ooh, this is going to, it's a four pips. That means we are not going to do this unless that one comes on top of there. Which is definitely possible, but that's great. There are a couple of nopes in there. All right. Okay. Okay, so I want to talk because I feel like got some of that momentum going. So let's let's sure. keep talking. So I am gonna talk to this calm person right here, who I'm with. Kind of big. 
So that's a talk four. Have a chat. Last time I had a great pull for this first one and then immediately failed. So, you know, let's do it again. Yeah, one, two, oh, again. Oh, whoa. Two instant two. matches. That's amazing. All right. Boom. Ooh, Keep it going. Class. Boom. Oh, okay. So here's it. Do I just stop? I think so. Uh, I did have a successful talk, by the way, so oh. I will make this person happy for my turn. I mean, it's so like I one of those things, like the chances are, are so are so. But low. you have two successes in hand. But they're also, are they the most useful for you? Like, do well, you... it's a ticket, and it's a second class citizen. A second class citizen means we can find out more about these people. Yeah, a ticket could be cool. Could be. It could be cool. The way I look at it is like, if you have the ticket in the second class, we could reveal two more about the chef and basically rule out. Him being a cultist, probably. If hopefully. there's at least one thing that's not viable. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop. I just don't trust it. Yeah. Uh, what would have happened? Let's we'll see what. Let's see what. Just curious. Let's we'll see what would have happened. Oh, another uh, first class. I did it though. That's twice right. now. We should have pulled one more. Yeah. We didn't. All right. So a second class. Is, yeah. Do we want to do like ticket and then another? Dis kind of. That's what I'm thinking. Sure. Ticket. Or the ticket. Not going to Constantinople. Okay. okay, he cannot be a cultist. It's true. So again, one of the things is if they have four, thi well, they could have a bloody fest. They could have a bloody fest. Which means we I can, could check. We could reveal. I think we should do that. And then we'll know for sure. Not a cultist. Not a cultist. Because they don't have four purples. They are not going to Constantinople. And they don't have an artifact. And they don't have the bloody fest. So we know the chef, despite being very angry, yeah. is not a cultist. So that means we are safe to bring them to the locomotive. And he's right next door. So if you can, like, just punt him over there. I know. That wouldn't be bad. Okay. That's good. Let's put this down just as a reminder. Like, yes, that is not a cultist. Not a cultist. Again, there's only two more things we couldn't possibly reveal. Only a, a friend. You know, enough purple. Okay. Okay. So now... I can move myself in any number of, of people to an adjacent car. Okay. You know what I am going to do? I am going to move here, so that way there's no one in that car with that umpire. Nothing, nothing but a body. All right, so that was my basic action. Um, and then what's the grimoire do? Did you use that? Uh, I haven't, but you lose the sanity, and you can oh, move right. a chosen um, suspect uh, to your car and use their skill without spending favor. I'm probably going to do that on my next turn with the chef to get okay. them to the locomotive. Okay, perfect. That works for me. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, um, then I can do... I'm going to move here for one stamina and then... Hmm... I can also, one of my things that my professor has as a basic action is I can put one of these next to one of yours. So I'm trying to think if there's anything over there that would be really useful that you're not going to use. Mm. Um, I think I might just hang out then because I don't know if there's another basic action that's really useful for me to do. That's fine? Yeah, I'm going to hang out. Okay. Um, I just realized I don't have enough stamina to sorry, do I'm gonna what have I was hoping to do. I only moved one. I'm going to move two. You're going to have stamina? Oh, you're almost out, huh? Oh, sorry. I need to yeah. do this first one. Shoot. Let's see what horrors await. Ooh, not the Wompire. Okay, so that is a third token there, All which right. means that we are We're going. going to do our thing. Yeah. So green's going to attack. We're doing the top first. And then the green and blue are both going to attack. Okay. Because the frontmost blue, which is... All of the blues. So the greens at the locomotive. So all uh, players everywhere lose the sanity. Barf. And then they are going to move. That's going to be three times that happens, by the way. Why? Why? Because there's three of them. Oh, you're right. <laughs> uh, and then they're all going to move to the back of the train, the back, the last car. Okay. So there's that. This is very lucky that yep. the one thing that's not attacking is red because we would it's very lose. much lose the yeah. game right now. Uh, but now the four and most uh, blue, so it'll be one of these folks, will attack. They are at the locomotive, so they're going to add one essence to each active portal. Which is all of them, almost. All but one, yeah. Frank, Frank, Frank. Another way we can lose is being out of that essence, which is also coming close. 
Okay. <laughs> and then we will spawn red where we can, which is just on the very back of the train. Yeah. It's our last red, so now we would kind of go back to yeah. green if we had to spawn more reds. So we're not going to do the Wompire, but nope. we are going to do them. Into the nightmare. In each sleeping car, add one new panicked person. Okay, so in the first class sleeping car is a panicked person. And then the second one, boom, right there, there's a panocked person. And then move each, uh, move each suspect towards their sleeping car. So our first pa class passengers are gonna go here. Oh, that's uh, you're so gonna move bad. back no. a little well, that's bit. That's gonna be okay, actually. You're gonna move here a little bit. What are you? You're first class, so you're gonna go up here. You're gonna go here. And who am I missing? Where's the last guy? Oh, here, you're gonna go back this way. Right. Okay. Okay, that wasn't like the end of the world. And then we're not gonna do yep. one of those. Okay. Okay, we got a couple knots in there, which is nice. Whew. Okay, that was me. Okay, gosh. So I literally only have one stamina, which is such a boomer. Yeah, that's a boomer. And then, Ronnie, what's my what's the ability here in the sanctuary? You can gather one um, passenger, yeah. player, or suspect. Darn. So I can basically move somewhere. Hmm. I don't know if it's particularly helpful, but this car here allows you to restore three stamina. Yeah, the problem is I would use my only stamina. I know to get, get there. The, oh, that's a good point. Yeah, you can't even use it then. Hmm. Yeah. Will she just rest then and possibly be about it? About it. Possibly. Um, oh, these are all. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't go. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, if I rest, I guess maybe I should. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna rest. Yeah, right. I'm gonna rest. I'm not gonna be able to do any yeah. upgrades and stuff, but that's okay because I will get five stamina, and that'll allow me to do two basic actions. I'm going to move two spots up to the locomotive, mm. and then I'm gonna use. Mm -hmm. This for my second basic action. So I have to lose the Sandy. I'm literally just kicking it on one. Uh, move a chosen suspect to your car and use their skill without spending. Uh... You go to the chef, right? the chef, right? Yeah. Okay. Boop. Um, gosh, you know what I'm wondering though? That's actually good because you'll refresh all of your stamina and gain a Sandy back. Yeah, I gotta do that then. By using their thing. All right, so we're gonna do that. Um, so I will get max stamina, gain my uh, sanity back. Um, and now they're in the locomotive, so you, I won't have a basic action to interact with them to get them to do their quest, but that's something that maybe you could do in your turn. Yeah, because I don't have to be with them, it doesn't seem like. It says, uh, only the quest requirements are fulfilled. Reveal all clues of that and flip their quest card to the other side, read the corresponding part. So I think we just can fulfill it. Oh, sorry, no, no, we have to be with them, my apologies. So I yeah. could do that on my turn, yeah. Okay, so that's all I can do. Okay. Well, that was pretty uh, useful. It was, yeah. All right, all right, well, that'll happen now. Okay. Okay, um, me. Train. Oh, train. So, I mean, I'll have to spend both my basic actions to get there. Gosh, yeah, well, maybe I can wait till my turn then, if there's uh, if there's more useful stuff I mean, I, yeah, I get, there probably is, let's be completely honest. Um, ooh. Yeah, I think, man, yeah, this is tough. Uh, I think I am going to move back to here. It's gonna be two of these. And then I'm gonna do field experiment, so I'm gonna push one. Who should I push out of this train? Oh, um, probably the red. Probably the red, yeah, get them out of there, they're gonna die. And then if there are no passengers in my, in my car, which there are not, I will banish all the other ones. That's huge. We'll take that. And then I can remove these all from limbo, Yeah. hopefully next turn. That'd be great. So, that, although at the very least, they won't attack us. So, yeah, yeah. exactly. Boo. 
All righty. We haven't actually had one of those. Or if we did, it was very long ago. All right. Okay, move the train. <gasps> and we'll reveal this. So we're still going to have six of these Essence out. Man. All right. Been low on Essence. Yeah, we sure are, man. We just I haven't, we, I haven't had time to even try and get rid of it. Yeah. Okay. To me, is it? Mm -hmm. I'm going to spend a basic action to complete the quest of the, <gasps> the chef. All right, big moment. They desire to be in the locomotive. They are. The locomotive. They are. Okay. So we will reveal all of the rest of their stuff. Boom. Which we know should cool not book. be. They weren't Boom. even close to being a they cultist. They are not man. a cultist. <laughs> Boom. Okay. So they, again, these two have two sides. This will be the cultist side. This will be the just a normal passenger side. Yeah. Luckily, they're passengers. So moral compass. So interesting, they say. Clearly hinted to do uh, to do so, you ask for details. Uh, it looks like... we. It looks like we are <laughs> railroaded here. That said, I feel like I can navigate us through a safe pass as the tracks don't affect the locomotive much in the dreamlands. Reveal the next three landscapes. Do not place essence there and do not resolve its on reveal effect. Wow. Okay, so we can kind of see what's coming up. Yeah. Wow, that's pretty powerful. So on reveal doesn't happen. Okay. Don't place any essence. Don't place any essence. So it's not to say that Essence can't get placed there later and stuff, but we kind of know that the, I mean, that's pretty sweet. That that might save our bacon because we do not have a ton of yep. Essence left. And we could be, you know, getting rid of some, but it hasn't been super uh, oh, advantageous. It's been very difficult to do so, yes. Um. Okay, so. Well, that's cool, good. That's great. That's huge. I'm trying to think. Of what to do. Yeah. I want to be fighting. Part of my problem is I have um, the ability to, you know, do some fighting and stuff, but it's not really. Um, yeah, so my question is, it's like we have spot. two people with two desires. It's like, do we just do them? I kind of feel on like the real. off chance that they're not a cultist because again I think these desires when you do them and they're not a cultist like this is huge right yeah. so it's definitely like beneficial if we can they might be a cultist which it'll be worse yeah. for us but we're well, already in we'll such learn. a bad situation that I feel like it's almost kind of like yeah because if we can get her to like this oh no she's she's there oh so if you can do it on your turn I can't reach her on mine I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it Oh, no, I can't. I have to rest. I only have uh, <sighs> one Stamina. Oh, where are you? Here. No. Darn. Okay. Um, uh, I'm going to do another basic action to interact with the locomotive and speed the train up. Other way up. All right, this puts okay. it to two, which means that we add two more of these train tokens to the bag. Yeah, which just means we're moving quicker, you know? In theory. In theory. Right. Um, and then for a main action. I'll just do this. I'll do trailblazing. So remove an essence from a uh, portal on a current landscape. Is there anything that we're kind of close to closing? Not particularly. Not really. I'll get one off of this sure. just because the it's effect gonna ones are, yeah. are kind of rough. Sorry. Um, and then I can return a discarded train token, which I don't think we have any of. No, we do. I, do we do? Uh, to remove another from that portal. Oh. So let's do that. So remove it? Um, return oh, one return. discarded okay. to Good. the bag to remove another oh, That's great. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, so that's my main... Yep. My main okay. Wow. Well, the train's going faster now. Yeah. <gasps> there it is. Oh. Oh, that means it's not going to happen. Wonderful. Oh. Okay. That's we great. can cover this up. That'd be great. Because if we don't... I don't think we're gonna survive. You don't think so? No, because there's four monsters here and they slow down the train. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right. So we need to get some of them gone if we can. But okay. anyway, so actually, well, I have to rest. Oh, we gotta move the train port, sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. <gasps> um, 
Yeah, I probably have to rest. I only have one thing. I don't think it's going to be particularly useful. Yeah. So I'll just rest. Um, I can upgrade something. Oh, gosh. What to even do here? Um, I will upgrade. Oh, I didn't use that one. You can only upgrade ones that you used. Mm -hmm. Oh, field experiment. Remove. Oh, I, just, I can just remove one. I'll have to push it. Oh, yeah. Let's do this one. This one's pretty sweet. So basically, now instead of having to push, and then if there's no passengers, I just get to remove one and then banish all of them. That's nice. Which is sweet. Okay. Or, 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 you know what? No, I'm not going to do that. No? No, because one thing you can do instead is do your lucid dream. Yeah. All players everywhere restore to stamina. Oh, so nice. instead, instead of getting five, I'm going to get all the, all the way back up, and then you get all the way back up. That's great. Let's just do that. I like it. Right? Let's yep. just do that. Yep. Um, okay, now I can use basic actions. So I will now, one, two. Oh, I can't go here. What? This is a full train. Ooh. Oh gosh, is there any? <laughs> Darn, I can't go there. We have to move someone out of there before I can get there. Oh man. And I, oh gosh, what to do here then? I'll use one, I'll still move here. That's an issue. Do you have any ability to like move? Move passengers? Yeah, I do. Just get one out of there? I can... Now, we can use her ability, but we have to be in there with her. She can move passengers, but that's literally who I'm trying to get to. Right. Which is hilarious. Um, okay, I'm just going to do that then. Sure. Because, <laughs> darn. Huh. I was like, oh, sweet, I'll pop right here. I'm like, oh, no, they eat, these do have a capacity of eight. And there is seven people in there with her. Hmm. We're not going to do... This, oh, we're gonna, oh, we're probably gonna lose right now, huh? No. It sucks we're not gonna do that, not gonna do that. This won't really hurt us. It's that, though, is gonna hurt us. Yeah, okay, so we are gonna go top to bottom, so we are not doing portals. We are gonna have all red monsters attack. These monsters are, unfortunately, at the locomotives. They will reduce the train speed by one. Oh. There are four here, so we will go to one spot, and we will go to zero, <laughs> which means the train has stopped. Which means we're stuck in the dreamscape, the dreamlands, man. Dang it. And unfortunately, that is it for us. Oh, Darn man. We were, I, I feel like we were losing from the beginning, but like. Those rituals got so on top of us so fast, man. It was so bad. We just we got a couple insane people immediately. And it was <sighs> okay, we were going to do this. Let's check. Let's cheat. Let's yeah, see. Yeah, let's find out. Let's okay. See. We were going to do this. Hopefully, this turn didn't actually end up happening. Yeah, so, so what, what, would, what were they about? Well. Okay. They are going to Constance Noble. They don't so have an artifact, all violet, though. But if they're all violet, they could be. So, no, that's not Ooh. a cultist. She could have the Bloody Fez. Yep, no cultist So, there. she would have been fine. So, what would we have gotten from this one? She's a, the life of the party, which makes sense. We remove a chosen monster from any spot, and then remove a chosen monster from Limbo. So, that's not the, that been the biggest good. one, but it would have been nice. Okay, let's go here. I'm feeling big cultist vibes. I'm feeling big. That's two violet. Bloody Fez. Play play fast. Fast. Ooh, not, not a, cultist. a cultist. All right, so let's just mark these down. This is just purely for fun and curiosity. Yep, not a cultist. Okay, so there's two Not more. a cultist. Here. Someone is a cult. Like, there is a bloody fez out there. Yes. Constantinople. Boom. They have an artifact. So if they don't have an... Oh, they have an elder sign. So they are also not a cultist. Not a cultist. So it literally has to be her. So she has a bloody fez, man. Where is it? There it is. The bloody fez. So you only, cultist. Only two only cults. Only two cultists. Because she also had four. Yeah, so she was super cultist. Four purple. So, so again, the way they, the way, because these are all randomly put out, you can have anywhere between one and five cultists. Now, one and five are pretty rare. Pretty unlikely. But usually But you two technically four. can. Dang, in this situation, we had four non-cultists. These two. I knew it was you. I knew it the whole time. They're sticking there. First class, man. You know what I mean? This, this is like, yeah, they just, they, they're even together. They're in cahoots. They're even together right Suspect here. Suspect is what I say. Rough. But hey, it doesn't matter. We're all stuck in the dreams. We're super dead We're anyway. Dead. That was Boom! Horror on the Orient Express. We got wrecked pretty good. 
Although I was like, man, we might lose like immediately. And then we, we kind of kept going and we, and we yeah. had good inklings. We knew Maria. I was like, I don't think she's a cultist. I feel like we could use this and yeah. just didn't end up working out. We had oh. a couple bad, couple bad pulls of stuff, but nonetheless, that is Horror on the Orient Express. Again, make sure to check out the campaign and a big shout out to Chaosium for sponsoring. We really appreciate it. Let us know what you think about this one in the comments below, everybody. We will catch you all next time at the Game House. Bye, everybody.